81% completion. Trubisky got most of the work with the ones, certainly, as far as this week was concerned. So let's go live to Pittsburgh. And the one who knows all, that's our Brooke Pryor standing by with the very latest. All right, Brooke, Tomlin's not telling us, but you can. What is the latest with the quarterback competition? Will it be Trubisky or will it be Pickett? Look, Greeny, I think the guy that started out as the favorite going into the preseason is ending it as the favorite, and that's Mitch Trubisky. He got to play an entire half, and he ended on that two-minute drive like you guys referenced. That's the first time he's had the opportunity to be in a two-minute drive situation in a preseason game. To me, the Steelers have been telegraphing their favorite all along. Trubisky has started each of the last three preseason games. Kenny Pickett did get varsity action in the second game, but he came in in the second half in the this one he was playing with the second team offensive line had the second team talent so at this point I believe the favorite here is Mitch Trubisky but like you said Mike Tomlin is not telling us right now well we have no more games or anything like that so when should we expect Tomlin to make this announcement uh, he said he'd do it at his leisure when should we expect that to be Brooke well, at his leisure, uh, could be really any time between now and next week. But at this point, the Steelers have two practices this week. Mike Tomlin is expected to talk with us tomorrow post-practice, and then he'll have his first official uh, press conference of the year a week from tomorrow. The Steelers may already know internally who their starting quarterback will be, but at this point, I'm not expecting to know officially until next Tuesday. But, hey, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised, and we'll learn tomorrow, and then we can all go home and have a nice Labor Day weekend. Uh, perhaps. Th that said, uh, you were in here with me about a week and a half ago before I went away, and, and we were talking about this quarterback battle. We both expect it to be Mitch Trubisky, who was the starting quarterback. But how would you describe from what you hear and what you have observed about how long his leash will be? Because we know there are a lot of people excited to see the rookie. Yeah, Greeny, I think his leash has gotten significantly shorter because Kenny Pickett has been playing well. Yes, he did come in with the second team last night, but he did have that, that one-minute drive right before halftime in the second preseason game where he had not one but two touchdown passes after the first one to Deontay Johnson got wiped off the board. At this point, I think that Kenny Pickett has shown that he has improved dramatically with the game work that he's gotten. The Steelers, though, told me this is what we expected to see from him all along. Matt Cannon told me this is the quarterback plan that they put together back during the offseason. They haven't deviated from it at all. But still, I think that Kenny Pickett came into this preseason looking to solidify a, uh, a backup job. He has done that, but he is hot on the hill, hot on the heels of Mitch Trubisky. So if Trubisky stumbles. I think that Kenny Pickett's going to be right there ready to make his debut. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.